Stephen Drobny, Inside the House of Money, Top Hedge Fund Traders on Profiting in the Global Markets. Welcome to the world of global macro investing, an intriguing domain where hedge fund managers utilize macroeconomic principles to identify unusual price fluctuations in equity, currency, interest rates, and commodity markets worldwide. Embark on an informative journey that will introduce you to renowned experts like John Maynard Keynes and Alfred Winslow Jones, as well as exploring the successes and challenges faced by legendary investors like George Soros and Julian Robertson. This summary of Inside the House of Money by Stephen Drobny provides a fascinating overview of the strategies and philosophies employed by these professionals to achieve superior risk-adjusted absolute returns while illuminating the evolution and dynamism of the global macro investing landscape. The World of Global Macro Investing Global macro investing is a strategy that employs macroeconomic principles to make leveraged bets on asset price movements anywhere in the world. This approach can produce outsized returns by using directional or relative trades to predict price movements. The ultimate goal of all global macro hedge fund managers is to produce superior risk-adjusted absolute returns. Despite global macro investing being a relatively new approach to investing, global macro traders have consistently outperformed the S&P 500 index with much less volatility. These traders invest in a wide range of products and markets with no restrictions, thus earning their reputation as risk-taking speculators. For investors looking to earn excellent risk-adjusted returns, global macro investments may be worth considering. Lessons from Macro Investing Experts Learn from the successful and failed attempts of macro investing experts like John Keynes, George Soros, and Julian Robertson. While their strategies and vehicles may differ, their ability to exploit underlying macroeconomic conditions remains evident. Overconfidence, failure to learn from past mistakes, and ego are all pitfalls to avoid. Though the global macro strategy has changed over time, more funds operate today, making the field more diverse and manageable. Global macroeconomic investing has been around for more than a century. Economist John Maynard Keynes pioneered investing based on macro conditions, and Alfred Winslow Jones became one of the most successful macro investors with his 20% profit-sharing arrangement. This fee originated in 15th-century Venice where successful merchants received 20% of the profits after long voyages. In recent times, hedge fund traders like George Soros and Julian Robertson have made headlines for their successes and losses. They have been involved in significant macro events like the 1987 stock market crash, the 1992 Black Wednesday, and the 1998 Russian crisis. However, these events were not their doing, they exploited underlying macro conditions. The DOT.com bust of 2000 led to the closure of many funds, but the global macro strategy did not disappear. Funds today are smaller and more diverse in their strategies, making the field more manageable. To be successful, traders must avoid pitfalls like overconfidence, failure to learn from past mistakes, and ego. Global Macro Investing Jim Leitner, the founder of Falcon Management, discusses global macro investing, which involves looking broadly at countries and narrowly at companies. To succeed in this investing strategy, one must have a solid understanding of trading in constantly read global news. Leitner advises avoiding emotional investment decisions and instead evaluating trades as probabilities, not certainties. Lessons from a Successful Trader Christian Shivajathi's accidental entry into trading as a student led to a successful career as a trader and investment company owner. He emphasizes the importance of integrity and experience in new traders, having learned from Goldman Sachs' failed experiment of hiring talented but inexperienced 20-year-olds. Shiva Jathi's advice for new traders is to stay humble, remain calm under pressure, protect their integrity, and cultivate both luck and talent. Insightful Investment Tips Former academician-turned-active trader Dr. Andres Drobny offers valuable investment advice. According to him, understanding market position is pivotal as it makes available opportunities easier to comprehend. For reliable insights, 
review data as far back as five years but avoid making predictions as it can be distracting. The current market is a minefield for bubble hunting, so tread with caution. Be wise and don't get trapped by overconfidence. Knowing when to trade is key, and sticking to good risk, reward ratio is critical. Understanding underlying processes is crucial for making trades that work. Mitigating interest rate risk. In handling interest rate risk, there are two approaches, mitigate or profit from it. Dr. John Porter of Barclays Capital follows the latter by gathering any instrument that comes with interest rate risk. He notes that these markets are zero-sum games and one side's win is the other side's loss. He advises that readers can learn from when genius failed by Roger Lowenstein, even the intelligent ones aren't always smarter than people. Luck versus hard work in trading. Dr. Sushil Wadwani, a former central banker turned trader, asserts that luck plays a significant role in trading success, despite hard work and diligence. He advocates for central banks to prevent bubbles rather than cleaning up after them, contrary to Alan Greenspan's approach. Wadwani predicts gloomy scenarios for the U.S. due to significant fiscal imbalances. Peter Thiel's Journey to Macro Investing Peter Thiel, the co-founder and former CEO of PayPal, turned to global macro investing in 1996 because it matched his skills. As a macro fund manager, he learned to see the world broadly, think beyond the norm, and be skilled in math, economics, and history. To compete with analysts who specialize in quantitative models, one must genuinely enjoy working with them. The Tale of a Trader's Struggles Yura Harris, a trader at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange since 1977, shares his journey of how he overcame obstacles to succeed in the financial world. With a unique badge and no formal education in finance, he struggled to find a job until he landed a $200 a week gig as a currency arbitrager for his father's friend. Despite his success, Harris remains uncertain of his talent for the markets, proving that hard work and grit can take one far. Jim Rogers Investment Strategies Jim Rogers, a co-founder of the Quantum Fund with George Soros, shares his investment strategies in his books Adventure Capitalist and Investment Biker. He believes that terms such as global macro and small cap are just marketing gimmicks and advises investors to invest in commodities and non-US dollar assets. Rogers predicts a big market shakeout within a decade and always bets against bubbles, although timing is difficult. He also warns that the dollar is a bad investment choice today. Investing Fundamentals with Dwight Anderson Dwight Anderson, the former star at Robertson's Tiger Management, specialized in investing in commodities and basic industries. With his hedge fund, Osprey Management, Anderson advises traders to focus on the fundamentals and deeply analyzes investments before making billions of dollars. His approach towards talented individuals involves a combination of intelligence, work ethic, pride, ability, and passion. Scott Besant's Investment Philosophy Equities trader Scott Besant learned from Jim Rogers and George Soros and applies his voracious reading style to make investment decisions. He left Soros Fund Management due to a change in risk strategy and recognizes the risks of long and short positions, but believes in being big enough if the position is right. Everest Capital's Real Estate Success Marco Dimitrijevic, the head of Everest Capital, became passionate about real estate when he invested a few hundred dollars in a REIT that yielded 10% in three months. His fund now oversees over $1.5 billion and invests in various products. Dimitrijevic warns that investors shouldn't rely on historical information as tomorrow might be different from yesterday. He also encourages investing in developing countries which are experiencing substantial growth. While many see the euro as a viable substitute for the dollar, Dimitrijevic questions its validity as it has only risen against the dollar by 30% in three years. Behind Successful Investments London Diversified Fund Management's success lies in the balance of relative value and global macro investments by managers David Gorton and Rob Standing. Their investment methods exploit pricing anomalies while maintaining a subdued public image. Despite their success, 
they describe their complex mathematical models as bloody arcane rubbish. As we conclude our exploration of global macro investing, epitomized by the experiences of illustrious individuals like Jim Leitner, Christian Shiva Jothi, and Jim Rogers, we are confronted with invaluable insights and lessons. The volatility of the market calls for a level-headed, knowledge-driven approach to building successful trading strategies. Remember to remain humble, protect your integrity, and view each trade as a probability subject to the ever-changing dynamics of the global market. By understanding the strategies, principles, and risks associated with this complex arena, you will be better equipped to weather the storms of financial turbulence and expand your investment horizons.